Hello Tutti, welcome back to my vlog. We are here right now at the uh, Basilica of Santo Stefano Retondo and we are here to visit this uh, old church and I hope you like it. This is dedicated to uh, Saint Stephen the Proto-Martyr and also to some of the martyrs. Around it you will see that there are a lot of frescoes that are uh, that depicts the martyrdom of many people and many saints and I hope you learn something again for today. The Basilica of Santo Stefano Rotondo Altcello is an early Christian church dedicated to the deacon and first martyr Saint Stephen. It is located on the Celian Hill, one of the highest of the seven legendary hills of Rome. Run until 1580 by Hungarian Paulines, the church has since belonged to the Pontifical German Hungarian College. This church, consecrated in honor of the first martyr, Saint Stephen, dates back to the early Christian period. The church walls are decorated with numerous frescoes, including those of Niccolo Sertziniani, Niccolo Pomerantio, and Antonio Tempesta. They portray 34 martyrdom scenes. Gregory XIII commissioned them in the 16th century. Each painting has a titulus or inscription explaining the scene and giving the name of the emperor who ordered the execution, as well as a quotation from the Bible. The church was built as a centrally planned building in three concentric circles. At the same time, inside, it is shaped like a Greek cross. This construction is similar to the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. Precisely because of this unique shape, as early as the 10th century, it was thought that the church was originally the temple of the pagan Faunus or the divine emperor Claudius. It was later consecrated to the first martyr in early Christian times, similar to the more famous and round pantheon in central Rome. It was Pope Simplicius, 468 to 483, who consecrated the basilica. It was initially decorated with mosaics and marble facings. Unfortunately, this decoration has been completely lost. Unlike nationals of other European nations, Hungarians lacked a national church in Rome, because the old Santo Stefano degli Ungarisi in the Vatican was pulled down to make way for the sacristy of St. Peter's Basilica, in 1778. As compensation for the loss of the ancient church, Pope Pius VI built a Hungarian chapel in Santo Stefano Rotondo according to the plans of Pietro Camparisi. In the 7th century, the bones of the Holy Roman Martyrs Primo and Feliciano were transferred to the church from the catacombs on the Bia Nomentana. A magnificent chapel was built for the two martyrs in the outer ring of the round church. This chapel was an essential place for pilgrims in the Middle Ages. In the early Middle Ages, the largely decayed church was architecturally renovated grandly.
Florentine artist Bernardo Rossellino made the altar in the 15th century. The painting in the apse shows Christ between two martyrs. An ancient chair of Pope Gregory the Great from around 580 AD is preserved here. In this church of Santo Stefano Rotondo, it is possible to book liturgical celebrations, weddings, concerts, and visits. However, funeral ceremonies and baptisms are not celebrated. So thank you very much my dear friends for watching my blog. Hope I hope you have enjoyed this day. This is Mitchell. <laughs> and he had been with me roaming around these other churches. So I hope you learned something again and see you again next time. Ciao, ciao.